Can you become a web developer in only three months? What's up guys, my name's Clint. Welcome to my channel, Code Commerce. And a lot of what I've done in the past, if you're new here, a lot of what I've done is create a lot of coding tutorials based around web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and JavaScript libraries such as React. But I wanted to create a new type of video where I talk to you guys, and in this specific video, give you my opinion whether or not it's possible to be actually become a web developer and gain employment inside of three months. So let's jump in. So, you know, so many people are talking about how fast it takes, you know, to become a web developer, how fast can you accomplish this? And, you know, can you really become a developer in three months? And, you know, learning programming is just like learning any other new skill, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna take time. There's a book called Outliers written by Malcolm Gladwell. And inside this book, he talks about the 10,000 hour rule. And essentially what the 10,000 hour rule is, Malcolm says it takes 10,000 hours to master a new skill. So not to learn a new skill, but to master a new skill. And Malcolm has a quote, he says, practice isn't the thing you do once you're good, it's the thing you do that makes you good. Now, if you take 10,000 hours, following the principles of this book, if you take 10,000 hours divided by 40 hours a week, it's about 250 weeks, which is nearly five years, according to Malcolm, to master a new skill. Now, you don't have to master JavaScript, you don't have to master Python or programming or whatever your language of choice is, but what you do have to master is the ability to solve problems and the ability to find solutions. Learning the actual syntax of this language, you know, JavaScript, Python, it's actually relatively simple. It's something you can do like inside of a couple weeks by just following along with a couple tutorials. But how long does it take you to get a job? Whether it takes you, you know, three months, six months, a year, two years, or even longer, it's gonna depend on several different factors. So number one, like how much time do you have to actually allocate to learning how to code? You know, are you a single person with, you know, no job, maybe you live at home, you don't really have any bills, or are you married, you know, you have a spouse and you have kids that depend on you and you have, you know, bills that you have to pay. Maybe you work, you know, eight, 10, 12 hours a day, so you can't really devote 14 hours a day to learning how to code. That's gonna take somebody who has you know no job and no bills and lives at home, it's gonna be able to allocate a lot more time to learning how to code than somebody who works you know full-time job and has kids and has a family. You know, they have dance lessons, they have soccer practice, they gotta take kids to baseball, you know, baseball practice. Like how much time do you have to really you know allocate to learning how to code? And how much time are you willing to set aside? Then number two, like, yeah, and you have to be honest with yourself on this one. Are you somebody that picks things up rather easily? Or are you somebody like me? Like, I feel like I have to read it. I have to write it. I have to actually code it. You know, then I have to read it again and think about it and reflect on it. I used to work with this guy who, you know, he would read something once or he'd hear something once and he'd automatically remember he had an incredible memory. But, you know, don't get hung up on this, you guys. I promise I'm not, I'm not that person and a lot of developers aren't. So don't feel like, you know, because it's not clicking the first week or the first two Two weeks or even the first month like if it's not clicking then it's not for you because I promise it took me a long time to learn and it's okay but don't stress on that too much like what you should stress on is this third factor and it's like are you learning the right way you guys make sure you're learning the right way I have a lot of programming books over my shoulder you might be able to see them and they're really great and they're fun to read I feel like I can learn some you know some stuff from them but is it the best way to learn how to code probably not the best way to learn how to code, and I think everybody will agree with me on this, is you actually have to code. You have to write code. You have to build projects. So, you know, start small and start building projects that you can actually use. And that's going to give you the core fundamentals and understanding of how, how the language works and how, you know, functions work and how variables work. So make sure you're learning the right way. And the fourth factor here is going to be coding challenges. So whether you like it or not, and, you know, whether you agree with it or not, the fact of the matter is to get a job as a developer, you're going to have to be come pretty good at solving these coding challenges for most jobs. Now, what are coding challenges? Basically, they're little problems to solve through writing code in your language of choice. And they're just solving little algorithm questions or whatever they may be, but you need to get really good at solving these problems. And there's a lot of really great resources out there like Algo Expert or Edabit or LeetCode. I suggest if you're brand new and I, you know, if you're watching this video, I assume you're, you're somewhat new to, to programming. I would suggest getting started on eat a bit. There's a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. So I do receive a small commission, but basically they give you these algorithm questions to solve and these little coding challenges to solve. And in my opinion, it's a lot easier than algo expert and leak code. And it's just a really great place to start. Okay. Like a lot of these other sites I went to when, you know, when I was first starting out and I felt dumb, like it made me feel dumb because I, I wasn't able to solve any of the problems when I was first starting. So eat a bit, it's a lot more user-friendly, especially if you're a beginner. 
but make sure you start solving these coding challenges sooner than later. You know, once you have a good grasp of the uh, of the syntax, make sure you start solving these coding challenges and you get familiar with solving these problems. One of the mistakes I made as a self-taught developer, and I feel like this is common for a lot of people, you know, given the, especially self-taught developers, given the fact that we don't have a guided curriculum to follow, is, you know, you feel like you have to master everything. You're like, oh, I don't think I know enough to, to move forward. Guys, you don't have to master everything, okay? Once you feel like you have a decent grasp of the information, then move on. You know, you see they're, they're actually teaching kids to code at really young ages. And actually what they're doing is they have these little code blocks. You may have seen it. Basically, they're little like, they're little variables and if else statements and loop. And you know, they're not teaching the exact syntax. They're just teaching like programming fundamentals and you just drag and drop these little code blocks. So, you know, becoming a developer isn't about memorizing code. It's about being a thinker and being tenacious enough to actually solve the problem. It's like, that's what we are. We're problem solvers. We build projects to solve problems. We build it, you know, through writing code to solve people's problems. This could be something as simple as a business owner creating a lead generation form or, you know, something more complex like like machine learning like take Netflix and YouTube for example isn't it cool like as soon as you watch this video or as soon as you finish this video you know YouTube automatically recommends another video for you to watch and 99% of the time it's something that you're really interested in like that's not by random chance I feel like I'm getting a little bit off topic here I came from the complete opposite background as a software developer I used to be a firefighter and a paramedic you know and if I can learn to code then you can too a lot of people told me like you can't go from being a firefighter to a developer you know you don't have the experience you don't have a technical background you don't have a college degree you're too old you know whatever it is it's funny I've never had a successful person or a person above me like tell me this it's always been from somebody who you know has a shit job and like doesn't make any money and who hasn't accomplished anything so don't let somebody tell you that especially if they're not successful just don't listen to those people so just to wrap things up is it possible yes and no it's you know it's going to depend on your learning style your current situation how much time do you have to devote to learning how to code are you serious about it are you learning the right way so make sure you're learning the right way guys keep building projects thank you for watching this video make sure you smash the like button if you feel like you got some value out of this and i'll see you on the next one